Well, we weren't public before that. We didn't want uh, it exposed, you know, who we were or um, that it was our, our children. But once Emma passed away, we weren't afraid to show our faces. I truly believe that if the church begged forgiveness of the, the victims, promised lifetime help, particularly in Emma's case, if that had happened, I believe she would have been alive today. Today, the face of World Youth Day, Bishop Anthony Fisher responded to those allegations. Happily, I think most of Australia was enjoying, delighting in the, 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 the beauty and goodness of these young people and the hope, the hope for us doing these sorts of things better in the future, as we saw last night, uh, rather than, than, than dwelling crankily uh, as, as a few people are doing uh, on old wounds. I would like to think that he's one off. However, I know that he's associating with all the other clergy here, and I can't possibly imagine that his thoughts are unique to himself. It's outrageous and on hearing that the comments were directed to us particularly, I'm disgusted.